While I enjoy a good latte at my favorite coffee house, when I have the time, my ideal way to enjoy coffee is at home. This is my coffee routine. First thing we need is some coffee beans. Good coffee beans can usually be found at your local roaster. Your local roaster can answer any questions you may have and will carry the freshest coffee beans. Try to buy coffee beans within a week of roasting for the best results. If you don't have a grinder at home, the coffee shop will gladly grind the beans for you. Keep in mind as soon as you grind your beans, they will begin to lose flavor and aroma. This is why I choose to grind at home. If you're grinding at home, a burr grinder is ideal. A burr grinder generates less heat and produces a consistent grind. My grinder of choice is the Baratza Encore. It is an entry level grinder that can consistently produce an even grind. At home, I prefer to use the pour over method. My favorite pour over system is the Kalita 185. Unlike other systems, the Kalita has a flat bottom and uses unique wave filters to evenly extract coffee. The best part is the three hole design. The three hole design keeps flow rate constant and can help compensate for any user error. When brewing with the Kalita 185, I choose to brew into the Kalita Carafe, but for single servings, you can just as easily brew into your coffee mug. Before we get to brewing, we need two more things. For pour overs, you will need a pour over specific kettle. Gooseneck kettles are best as their narrow spouts allow for controlled and precise pouring. Then the last thing you will need is a scale with a timer to help you keep track of weight and brew times. Finally on to brewing, the first thing I'll do is fill my kettle with water and put it on the stove to boil. While I wait for the water to boil, I'll measure out 25 grams of coffee. I'll then load the coffee into the hopper of my grinder and set up my Kalita system. Ideal brewing temperature for coffee is around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. After boiling, let the kettle sit for a couple of minutes to get you into ideal brewing temperature. After the water has reached the correct temperature, I'll begin by preheating my setup and rinsing the paper filter. The Kalita Wave filters have a strong paper taste that would otherwise ruin your cup of coffee if not first rinsed. Next, grind your coffee. The Kalita works best with a slightly finer grind than kosher salt. This may take some experimentation, but for my Baratza Encore, I use a grind size of about 15. Dump the pre-rinse water and load your ground coffee into the brewer. Gently tap the sides of the brewer to level out the coffee. For my pour over, I like to pour in 3 doses, 75 grams, 150 grams, and a final pour of 125 grams. This will give us a total of 350 grams of water for a final water to coffee ratio of 17 to 1. The first pour is a 75 gram pour. I like to use a 3 to 1 ratio for the first pour to ensure the grounds are thoroughly soaked. Let the grounds soak for 30 to 45 seconds. This initial soak is known as the bloom. The bloom is a critical step where you allow fresh coffee to release CO2 gases. By allowing the coffee to bloom, you will ensure better extraction when we go to do our two other pours. The second pour is a 150 gram pour. Start in the center of your coffee bed and work outwards in concentric circles till you hit your 150 gram target. The final pour is a 125 gram pour using the same concentric circle method. This pour should finish at or around the 2 minute and 30 second mark. After the final pour, allow your coffee bed to finish brewing. The bed should almost be completely drained around the 3 minute mark. Throughout this routine, don't stress about hitting weight and times exactly. Take the time to enjoy the sounds and smells of brewing coffee at home. As long as you are in the ballpark, you will get a great cup of coffee that you can improve upon every day. Making coffee and getting better at it is a small goal that I set for myself each and every morning. The pour over method isn't the fastest or most convenient way to brew coffee but the time and effort I invest creates something that I enjoy. While simple, completing a goal goes a long way in boosting your morale, especially in the morning. The way you start your day usually sets the tone for the rest of it, so why not start your day off with a great cup of coffee? I hope you enjoyed my coffee routine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.